All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, brethren, that are pushing this word out in truth and sincerity and in charity. My, my name is uh, the Brother Abraham from the camp here in GMS Chicago. Coming to you to do another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit. Lord willing, it be edifying. And uh, this video is going to be, um, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but uh, it'll probably be keep thy heart with all diligence because that's what's going to be in the topic of this video. And uh, what I have with me right now is a book called As a Man Thinketh. And it's uh, from James Allen. And uh, I picked it up. It was only like it's only like 25 pages long. So it, um, I picked it up, started to read a couple pages, and uh, I decided to do a lesson on this uh, one um, page that I'm on right now at the moment. And it's uh, the heading of it is thought and character, effect of thought on circumstances. So I'm going to read a little bit of this book and then I'm going to jump into these uh, precepts as always. Okay, it says, this is from page 8 on the, on the book. Alright, man's mind may be likened to a garden which may be intelligently cultivated or allowed to run wild. But whether cultivated or neglected, it must and will bring forth. If no useful seeds are put into it, then an abundance of useless weed seeds will fall therein and will continue to produce their kind. Just as a gardener cultivates his pot, keeping it free from weeds and growing the flowers and fruits which he requires, so may a man tend the garden of his mind, weeding out the wrong, useless and impure thoughts and cultivating towards perfection the flowers and fruits of right, useful and pure thoughts. By pursuing this process, a man sooner or later discovers that he is the master gardener of his soul, the director of his life. He also reveals within himself the laws of thought and understands with ever increasing accuracy how the thought forces and mind elements operate in the shaping of his character circumstances and destiny right so you see by uh the example of your mind as a garden all right and co cultivating it a certain way that you know the fruits of this garden will be either good or bad all right and <clears throat> the the way this world is shaped now by the hands of Esau and Edom because uh, Job 9 and 24 says that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked and then the book of Sirach 10th chapter goes into if the king is wicked then his officers are going to be wicked and the whole inhabitants of the land are going to be wicked so everywhere we go is complete wickedness man is wickedness is darkness everywhere you go okay let's get the book of job chapter 10 i'm gonna start in verse 21 it says before i go whence i shall not return even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death a land of darkness as darkness itself and of the shadow of death without any order and where the light is as darkness so this is the land that we're dwelling in in America, we're in the belly of the beast. We're in the darkest land in, in the whole earth. Man. The whole earth is wicked because of the United States of America, man. Babylon the Great, Sodom and Egypt, all of these wicked kingdoms. All right, reincarnated here in America. Man. Okay, so everywhere you go and everywhere you turn, wickedness folly all right 
everything opposite according to the scriptures and how the scriptures say to operate and conduct yourself and, and you know not even the laws are established in this land that's why it's important for us men here the truth to what let's get it in the book of proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23 Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. All right, now let's get, uh, let's see what other translations say. Let's see. New Living Translation, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. All right, uh, let's see what else. NIV, it says, above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Okay, so it's important for us to guard our heart, which that Hebrew word, heart, is the, um, the Hebrew word, uh, lab, right, lab, and it goes into the inner man, the mind. The will, the heart, the soul, the understanding, the inner parts. Okay, so it means your mind. Right, your mind could be used as a weapon. Your mind could be a powerful thing. Um, you could train it just like you train any other muscle. But all that all depends on you, right? You're you're the one cultivating this garden of yours. All right, that's why it's important. For us righteous men living in this wicked world to guard our hearts, all right, from the music that we listen to, from the foods that we eat, from the things that we see on TV, all right, social media, all these things affect your heart and the way you think and the way you feel, all right, and most, most of it out here, all right, is complete wickedness, man. All right, and then even even with that, even then, this is Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 9. This is, the heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked who can know it. All right, so our heart and our ways are naturally deceitful and wicked, man. All right, that's why it's important to constantly stay in the spirit more than in the flesh now there's a balance to it but a balance doesn't mean 50 50 or a just balance doesn't mean 50 50 okay a just balance mean that your spiritual uh your spiritualness shall outweigh the carnal and the folly mm -hmm. all right but like I, like I said again, it's a balance to it. You know, the scriptures say, Be not righteous over much. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Be not over overly wicked. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? All right, roughly paraphrasing those scriptures. Okay. It says, this is a Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 1. This is my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Alright. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Alright. Because then what? So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Alright. So what? It says to not forget these statues laws and commandments because out of it we will get length of days long life peace all right all these things that are going to be profitable for us in our lives and you know for our conduct our character and the way we live man all right so uh let's go ahead and get Oh, where was I at? Damn, I think I uh, messed up 
here. All right, this is a Proverbs 23 and 7. It says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. So, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, right? So, based off how you view yourself, and, you know, based off how you view yourself, that's how you're going to be presented to people, and that's what they're going to see from you. And what we, you know, not that we care what people think, but they should know that, you know, you're, you're a man of understanding, and a man of understanding is known far and near. Or a man may be known by his gait, his walk, his talk, his character, his laugh, all those things. Right? And the scriptures help us to um, form and to uh, conduct ourselves in a certain type of manner, all right, in a righteous way. Alright, so uh, from there, we'll go ahead and get the book of Psalms chapter 1. It is a beautiful scripture, and it goes with the uh, The topic is here in Psalms 1 and verse 1. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. For his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and and night all right so it's said to uh bind these laws and statutes and commandments in thy heart and let it not uh don't let it escape or forget it but his delight is in the law of the lord and his law does he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his his fruit in his seasons his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. All right, was it not uh, in that book? It talks about uh, cultivating your garden and whether the fruits of it will be good or bad. All right, so based on this scripture, you know, you just meditating and thinking upon these laws, that and commandments, these words. All right, because even Job said that I esteem thy words more than my necessary food. All right, so man does not live by bread alone, but by the words of Yahweh Hashem Shai. All right, and then that's when we will prosper. All right, so don't be uh, you know, talk, scriptures talk about don't fret thyself against sinners and evil doers. All right, don't. Um, envy them Don't worry about those that, that prosper in the way man Okay don't worry about that We we know what, what's going to come with them We know The scriptures say it Okay The scriptures say what's going to become of them So don't worry about them Alright and then uh, I got this last one Here uh, Let me see them uh, this is Titus chapter 1 and verse 15 It says unto the pure are all things pure But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure But even their mind and conscience is defiled Alright so the pure All things are pure to them Alright but Those that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure Why? Because their minds and conscience is defiled man and our conscience cannot be defiled. We gotta have a good conscience. And when we mix that good conscience with faith, with our belief, with our hope, you know, you're, you should be in the right track, man. All right, this is um, Sirach 30 and 23. Love thine own soul and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow from thee. For sorrow hath killed many, and there is no profit therein. So it's important to keep thy heart with all diligence, okay? Because if you let materialistic things and outside things affect you inside your heart, which is your mind, you know, it's, it's gonna, 
It's going to be, um, you know, like the scriptures say, a heavy heart who can bear. All right. And, uh, based off your countenance, you know, you can tell whether your heart be merry or sorrowful. All right. So that's why it's important to keep your heart, which means to guard it, protect it. All right. And the way you do that is through these scriptures, through these words, man. Meditate upon them. Alright, so uh, with that, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kapodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Until next time I say, Shalom.